Hey everybody, I'm Robert the Zombie Bargain Hunter and today it is what sold on eBay for the week of December 6th through the 12th. So I had another crazy week this week. I uh, shipped out I believe around 115 packages. I stopped counting at 100. <laughs> I started uh, packaging them up and it took me like 3-4 hours to package them up. So um, yeah, <laughs> I lost count at 100. So hopefully everybody is having a great fourth quarter like I am. And hopefully it just keeps going. Um, hopefully it just keeps going through the new year. Um, before I get started, I am only three subs away from uh, 3,000. So I don't usually ask in the beginning of videos. But please, if you haven't subscribed, give me one. <laughs> Would appreciate it. Anyways, uh, enough jibber jabber. Let's get into the sales. Alright. For December 6th through the 12th, my total sales are $6,819.48. That is 9.4% up from last week. Uh, last week was a great week, uh, but I beat it by 10% almost. Uh, selling costs are $1,451. And net sales of $4,921.08. Quantity sold, I sold 183 items with uh, like 115 coming <laughs> on the weekend, which is crazy. Uh, average sale price is 37.26. So uh, crazy sales this week. Hopefully you're doing just as well as I am. If not, um, start listing and you'll get there. <laughs> That's all I can say. All right, uh, the first one, of course, we'll start with all the different collectibles and everything else and we'll hit the plush at the end, just like always. Uh, the first one, this is an Amazon Echo Dot. I picked this up on, I believe, Black Friday or Sa Cyber Monday. It was a sale. It came with this Ep Echo Dot and something else. I think a, a wireless doorbell from Ring. It, it came with something else, but got it super inexpensive off Amazon. And it sold for $45.89. So if you ever get sales on these Amazon Dots, um, the, the little dot or the, the bigger ones, they sell for great money. Just look them up. They almost sell for retail. So if you can get them uh, half off, it, it's amazing to sell these guys. Uh, Sabrent Rocket Nano. This is a two terabyte. Um, has no box. Got this off of a haul I did a few months back. Uh, but yeah, it's just a little um, SSD card or... Um, SSC box. <laughs> um, but anyways, it sold for $212.49. So anything that, that has to do with memory and computers always sells very well. And if you can find them for half the price, like, just like the Echo Dot, pick them up. Uh, Harman speakers. These, I got at a ridiculous sale. Uh, I believe the I paid the for these, uh, if I could speak, I believe I paid two for $70 uh, for these shipped. Uh, they were direct from Harmon. They were clearing them out or, or just having a sale. But anyways, uh, they sold for $259, no, $254.99. Uh, four sold already. I still have six available. I picked up as many as I could because I knew these, was, these were going to sell. I would have picked up more, but they are huge. They're like this, so I would have to store them for a while. But they are very nice speakers and selling very well. Next is this Minnie Mouse uh, nightgown. I've had this guy for years. I don't know why it hasn't sold. I'm just not good with clothes, I guess. I mean, it's super cute. Look at it. It has like Figaro. I don't know if that bunny rabbit has a certain name, but there's Minnie Mouse. Um, but yeah, it's a super cute uh, little nightgown. Got it from the Disney store for almost nothing. Uh, had a ton of them. Six sold for sixteen fourteen. But like I said, I had a ton of them. I'm probably sold through probably about uh, thirty of them. But it's I've had them for years, and yeah, this should have sold out a long time ago. Just not good with clothes, I guess. <laughs> Uh, Disney Lilo and Stitch. This is a little blanket. You can see he, <laughs> Stitch is like munching right there. Um, really cute. Uh, he has like little donuts and uh, yeah. <laughs> it's just Stitch just everywhere in blue. 
Uh, got these off of a ridiculous coal sale um, this past, I think, Cyber Monday or Black Friday, whatever it was. I believe I wound up paying around six or seven with the Kohl's cash and everything that came out, and I'm selling for twenty nine fifty nine. Uh, My Hero Academia hoodie. Um, this one was a mistake. This one was actually um, in a large, but the sticker, there was a like a plastic sticker on the shirt that said 3XL, and it was big. It, it, so I couldn't tell it was a, wasn't a, a 3XL. So this one was a huge mistake, but actually worked out for the best. Um, the present was for a little girl, actually. And I contacted the person, and I'm like, I'm sorry. This is o this is only a large because I, I looked at the tag when I was shipping it. Um, I'll cancel and refund you if you want. Um, but yeah, he's he's like, oh no, I'm so happy. It actually will fit her better um, as a large. So I'm like, all right, sweet. So I mailed it off. I put in. I wasn't going to do it, but I put it in the priority bag just to um, get it out faster for him. Just because I, it was my mistake. I should have looked at the tag when I was listing it. But um, super happy it worked out. Uh, Rick and Morty, these are Walmart exclusive figures. Got these super cheap. I don't remember what I paid for them. They were, I believe they were like two for seven or not even that much. I mean, they were really inexpensive. Got a ton of these figures. Um, sold through my first uh, two batches of them. So sold through about 20 of them. Uh, six sold in my third batch. And I have four available left. So they are selling for $25.49. I just made a, a sets of two. Like I said, I don't remember what I paid. They were like two fifty each or um, three dollars each, but I mean, they ship for nothing. I mean, they're super small, and they just put them in a box and they shoot for like twelve ounces. So uh, nice find on those. Another My Hero Academia. This is a ceramic drink drinkware. This is a sake set. You can see they have these little cups. I guess those are like the um, insignias from the different groups from My Hero. I never watched My Hero, so I don't know. I know that guy is All Might, the one in the gold in the middle. Uh, but yeah, it's just a nice little uh, drinkware set that I got for super um, inexpensively at GameStop. It was just a clearance. I believe I only paid like three, four dollars for it, uh, and um, they sold for twenty nine seventy four. It did cost me ten dollars to ship, so um, about fifteen dollars into it with uh, fees and everything. So uh, made, still made about fifteen dollars, and both of them sold. I might have another one to relist, but I'll have to go check. Uh, Boston, Boston Celtics towels. <laughs> uh, uh, nothing much to say here. These were another uh, Coles find. Um, Again, you can get the Kohl's discounts and um, just keep adding up the, the different discounts of the different, uh, they do it like a 10%, then you can add on like another 30%, and then they are already clearanced for like 50%, then you get the Kohl's catch. I mean, it if you can catch them on the perfect day, you can make a lot of good money. And uh, as I've proven, <laughs> you can. Uh, this These sold for 20 379 all right fingerlings hugs Bella this is a uh, giggles whatever it, <laughs> these little plush I've had for a long time this is when I did the GameStop sale with all the every single plush in the store except for the small ones were three dollars and the, the small ones were like a buck so I cleared out the stores of all their plush I do have a couple more of these I just looked at them right now I'm like no I didn't list them all but these finally sold all the other colors sold like super fast. This pink one uh, decided to stick around for some reason. Uh, the last person bought the last two. I gave him a deal. I believe I gave him like uh, twenty-two dollars each, so forty-four shipped. Um, he was in. He was close to me, so the shipping wasn't that bad. But anyways, I just put them together and threw a bag over them and pirate shipped them out. It wasn't that bad. But anyways, um. That's it. <laughs> that's it for the fingerlings. Yeah. All right, on to all the other plush. Uh, this is a Thai Beanie Boo Safari, the giraffe. He's just a little beanie, uh, just a little Thai Beanie Baby. Um, has nice big purple eyes. Uh, not all uh, Beanie Babies are worthless. Um, the Beanie Boos do okay. 
not going to say they do great, but uh, he's only seven inches and I sold it for thirteen fifty nine and paid maybe a quarter or fifty cents for him. So super happy with that. Uh, Smurfette, Smurfs doing very well for me. Um, I think this was my last Smurfette. I might have. Uh, I think I have one older one, like the 1970s uh, or 80s, real old, like, it is ugly. <laughs> it has like an ugly face, uh, uh, but yeah, um, the rest of the Smurfs have sold out, and they sold pretty fast. Um, she's about 10 inches long, and she sold for fifteen twenty nine. I had three of the same one of her. Uh, this is a white rabbit. Uh, from Easter. That's why I never take down my Easter. I never take down uh, uh, Valentine's. I've been selling Valentine's and Easter uh, pretty frequently even near Christmas. This is just a little uh, rabbit. What you can see there's a, like a little um, they're like Easter eggs on her bow. Yeah, you can see it better there. But anyways, um, just a generic one and it sold for sixteen fourteen. Ikea Jatelik. <laughs> uh, Ikea always has some interesting names for their plush. But anyways, this is a Triceratops. I got this at a huge haul at Ikea. They were clearing out um, they were clearing out T-Rex and um, panda bears and cats and a whole bunch of different dinosaurs like raptors and stuff. So of course I went down there and bought them all out. Uh, this one sold for $21.24. Um, I still have nine available, uh, but most of the other ones I've sold through already. I had like an owl hand puppet. Uh, it kind of looked like Owl from Winnie the Pooh, and it sold out real fast. Uh, this is a little cheetah. Um, he is from SOH, so this is Save Our Space. Uh, I believe that's um, like a conservatory company where they like save uh, animals and stuff. I am not positive, but... There it is right there. You can see it has a, that cool little tag. Uh, took a little while to sell. Um, probably about six to eight months for this little guy. But he's smaller and I'll take it. It's only, it, he got me $16.99, which I'm super happy for. I think I paid like 50 cents for him. Uh, Squishmallows, this is a uh, teal blue fox. I believe this one came from Costco, all the Costco, um, uh, Squishmallows were $10, and I believe this was one of them. This was either Costco or Target. I get most of mine at Costco and Target. Uh, they're usually the easiest to get uh, a lot of them. My Target doesn't care if I clear out the, the, the shelf, and my Costco never clears, never, never cares about anything. <laughs> you ever been to Costco, you can just say, hey, I want the whole palette, and they don't care. Anyways, uh, this one sold for $38.24. Uh, Commonwealth Xmas large puppy dog with scarf. I uh, had him hanging out in my house for a little while. Uh, he is he has like a mistletoe on his ears. A really really cute little dog. I'm surprised he didn't go last year. Um, I, I believe I listed him uh, last year, maybe at the end of Christmas. But um, yeah, he's just a real cute little dog. Has a little soft eye, so he's good for a kid. And he sold for $33.99. I just rolled him up into a ball and shoved him in a poly bag. Uh, New York Knicks Roxbury Teddy Bear. Uh, this one took forever to sell. I mean, the Knicks have been terrible forever. So <laughs> it took them to be uh, an okay team for it to sell. Anyways, you can see how old these pictures are. You can see the black is like gray because it was on my old, old uh, Samsung phone. Which I never changed, like the settings. I never made went to pro mode or anything. But anyways, um, this is just a, a knitted sweater and a generic bear, and sold for sixteen ninety nine. Uh, South Park Stan. Uh, South Park does very well. Um, you can find Cartman or Kenny, or just pretty much any of them. The the big ones are gonna be like Chef and. All the ancillary characters, uh, those sell for um, way more money than just the, the generic characters. Uh, Stan was only nine inches tall, so he only sold for fifteen twenty nine. But if you can find like the 
like I said, Chef and the Pooh and <laughs> um, all the other ancillary characters, you can get some good money. So make sure you look them up if you uh, see them out in the wild. Uh, this one, this one I'm sad to get rid of. <laughs> I like this little guy. This is your one hot dog. I probably should have listed him higher. I mean, he, he was really cute and really funny. Um, I believe I used him in one or two of my videos. Uh, but yeah, he's just a little uh, Dutch hound and in a little hot dog suit. <laughs> and he sold for 1869. So sad to see this guy go. He was really, really funny. <laughs> Aurora Captain Max, uh, plush English Bull Terrier. Um, this one I actually made a mistake on. I sold this one on Poshmark. Couldn't find it. I found him like a week later and I already canceled the one on Poshmark. Um, he was mixed up in the cats of all things. <laughs> so I found him and then relisted him or just kept the listing open on eBay and then he sold again. Uh, he sold for fifteen twenty nine, but he just has a little uh, like a pirate hat and he's got a black eye. So really cute little doggy. And um, his name is Max from Aurora. There you go. <laughs> What's next? Uh, Squishmallow, Maui the Pineapple. Uh, this one I did get off of Target. I believe I paid, I think it was 8 eight to $10 for this guy. Um, not a ton of profit here. Um, I did, when I relisted him, I did raise the price on him. So we will see if that works. I believe I put him up to 35 now. So, um... Yeah, he's just a cute little pineapple and sold super fast. Like I said, I probably listed him way too low. Um, I try to list him uh, higher than normal, but eh, sometimes I make a mistake. Anyways, he sold for twenty eight oh four. All right, the next one. This is Shrek the uh, Third, Frog King Harold. Uh, weird thing about this one is I sold one without the crown and without the ring for twenty dollars. This one has been in my store forever. <laughs> you can see this old, uh, like, uh, the old Home Depot uh, ruler. Uh, he's been in my store forever for $16.99. This one finally sold. This one, he has the crown. He is has the ring. He is complete. But yet, he only sold for $16.99, and it took forever to sell. So, you never know what, um, what people want. <laughs> uh, Disney Dumbo... Uh, this Dumbo is actually has the, there's like a little special like mark on him. Has like a silver Disney embroidery or I don't know what you call it. Etching on his butt. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is a little special Dumbo. And I've told uh, people in the past that the Dumbos do okay. Um, there are a lot of them out there, so you might have to wait a while. Um, this one took me, I believe, uh, a year or two to sell. Um, but anyways, uh, he finally sold for $18.69. Uh, Ty Beanie Boo, this one was a big old guy, but uh, the problem with him, he had a bunch of eye scratches. You can see his eyes were really bad. I did repair them somewhat before I shipped him, so the, the person that bought him should be uh, super happy with it. I got most of the scratches out. Um, I used the... Um, the Novus repair stuff. It's down in the description if you want to buy some. But yeah, it's a three-step system to clear up the eyes. So I used that on this guy and they got pretty clear. You can see that it's pretty clear now. Let's see. There's a scratch right there. Uh, whatever. <laughs> they were happy with it and they paid $25.49 for him. Disney Parks, uh, this is Flower the Skunk from Bambi. A uh, really cool skunk. His tail is ridiculously long. <laughs> As you can see here, it is 40 inches long. It's like a boa, so you like put it around your neck. I guess you can put the skunk on your shoulder. I don't know. Who wants a skunk on their shoulder? But whatever. <laughs> uh, he he or she? Uh, was Flower a girl or boy? I guess he, I think it was a boy, right? Anyways, uh, he sold for $25.49. A uh, vintage 1974 Dakin raccoon. This one has like nuts and shells for the body instead of the beads or the like styrofoam pellets. They used to use nuts and shells for it. And it actually says on the tag. Let me see if I took a picture of the tag where it says it. Uh, yeah, you can see it's. Uh, uh, where is it? 
Come on. You can see it says clippings, nuts, shells. That's the way they used to stuff them. Um, so I guess pe people with peanut allergies should not have this guy. I would stay away from him. But anyways, um, sold for 1869 And he was a small little guy. And he only cost me like 50 cents at the bins. Uh, backyardigans. This is Tasha the Hippo. Uh, anytime I get backyardigans, they sell almost immediately. Uh, there is Pablo. Um, there's a few other ones. I forget their name. It's, I believe it's like a moose. Or, but whatever it is. Um, yeah, as soon as I get backyardigans, they sell almost immediately. Um, this one is Ta Tasha. Um, this is the actual Thai Beanie Boo or Beanie Baby. So nothing special with it, but it's still sold for $22.94. So backyardigans do very well, at least for me. Uh, last but not least, this is a Squishmallow Watermelon Wanda. That is a mouthful. Um, nothing special about him. I believe I picked him up at Target or Walmart. Like I said, that's why I usually pick up my um, Squishmallows is Target or Walmart. They usually do like ten dollars and specials and stuff like that. So, yeah. Anyways, um, hope you enjoyed the video. Please give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new, and don't fiddle fart around. Get all your listings up. I still gotta get that shipping video out for you. Uh, been super busy. Um, I'll try to get it up as soon as possible. <laughs> Take care. Bye.